One of the most powerful father-son duos in the history of anime, Naruto and Boruto Uzumaki, have accomplished many feats on their own. Each has faced a slew of difficulties although Naruto's were greater and worked hard on their abilities to become an exceptional ninja. But his Boruto has already surpassed his legendary father in many ways, but is it enough that he'd be able to best him in a one-on-one -on -one battle? Naruto. Is the reincarnation of Asura Atsutsuki. Inheritance has a huge role to play in the world of Naruto. It translates into not only the power one inherits, but enmity and hatred as well. For Naruto and Sasuke Uchiha, such is the case, with each being the reincarnation of a gifted Tsutsuki brother. Naruto, who is reborn as a Sorl Tsutsuki, naturally falls into a feud with Sasuke, who is reborn as Indril Tsutsuki. Boruto can activate the Jogun. Boruto is blessed in many ways. Since birth he has the powers of his gifted parents flowing through his veins, and then when he turns eight, he has a dream that triggers Jingan in one of his eyes. Since then, his right eye has been able to warn him of potential threatening situations and help him protect himself in matters of great peril. As he grows older he gets a better grip at it and is able to switch it on like a light switch and see things an ordinary eye cannot see. He can see other people's chakra, its flow, and every major and minute change that manifests within it. And Naruto, despite his many powers, doesn't have the Jingan in either of his eyes. Naruto has access to six paths in Jutsu. One of the most impressive powers that Naruto possesses and Boruto does not is the six paths in Jutsu. It gives him the ability to fly, to manipulate all five nature transformations and yin-yang release, and also control the nine truth-seeking balls. He can use the balls as weapons themselves, or transform them into tailed beast balls, to be used as such, and with the yin-yang release he can rejuvenate a person's health by healing them on the outside and the inside. And though his shadow clones can't truly manifest these powers, he can transfer some of his own to them and fight an enemy with the might of many. Boruto has knowledge of gentle fist. The most unique technique exclusive to those who belong to the Hyuga family, the gentle fist is a manner in which a ninja can target the enemy's chakra pathway directly. Such an attack not only debilitates the opponent's chakra, but also injures the organs nearer surrounding the chakra pathway. The weapon that causes these wounds is the person's own chakra, which is used to cut through the foe's skin and cause damage. Boruto, being the descendant of the Hyuga family, also has knowledge of this technique, although he is yet to fully utilize it in a fight. Naruto has access to Kurama's powers. Through the Kurama, a fox-like, nine-tailed beast that is stored inside him, Naruto has a humongous collection of chakras in his possession. And though initially not as compatible with each other, Naruto and Kurama are now so in sync that they can win even the most difficult fights together. In fact, Naruto is even able to transport the fox beast outside his body and have the two fight as two separate entities. His association with Kurama is also a bonus in the sense that it allows Naruto to access chakras of other tailed beasts as well. Boruto is a prodigy. With one of the greatest ninja for a father and the descendant of a powerful clan for a mother, Boruto was born to accomplish great things. At the Ninja Academy he excels at every task and assignment and is considered to be top of his class. Added to all this is the fact that Sasuke takes a special interest in him and thinks that he has a lot of potential to become a great ninja. He trains the young man for a while and gives him a better understanding of Naruto and whatever flaws he may have preparing him for a father-son conflict that could perhaps come to pass one day. Naruto has an artificial arm. Although Naruto loses an arm in his very last battle with Sasuke, he is able to turn the misfortune around with the help of Tsunade and gain a prosthetic made with the cells of the first Hakage, Hashirama Senju. There are no unique powers attached to the artificial arm, but it does strengthen his stamina and healing abilities. A later modification gives it more mechanical features and allows him to nullify his adversary's tactics in certain ways. The loss of an arm could have turned into a weakness for Naruto, but he only made himself stronger and powerful in the face of adversity. 
Baruto, has the power of the comma. The best thing to come out of his victory over Mamashiki is the karma of the Atsutsuki clan that he gets imprinted with. It manifests as a diamond-like mark on his palm that, when activated, envelops the full length of his arm and a part of his face in the form of lines and patterns. It gives him the ability to harness Mamashiki's powers, making him significantly stronger and allowing him to control any sort of energy near him. But more importantly, because of the karma, Boruto can create portals into other worlds and dimensions. Naruto has a lot more life experience. Unlike his son, who has had a fairly normal childhood surrounded by a loving family, Naruto had to brave the world all alone as an orphan. He has had to face terrible insults and mockery as a child and has had to work really hard at his mental and physical attributes to not only come to be respected as a hero but also become his village's seventh Hakagi. He even came to have a name bestowed upon him, Hero of the Hidden Leaf, for all his numerous achievements, making him one of the most accomplished ninjas in history. Boruto is yet to prove his mettle on such a scale. Winner, Naruto. According to Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, Naruto's attributes are 120 in perception, 160 in dexterity, 170 in negotiations, 110 in strength, and 90 in intelligence and Boruto's attributes are 130 in perception, 160 in dexterity, 90 in both intelligence and negotiation, and 120 in strength. On paper, Boruto is superior to his father. But in actual practice, experience and frame of mind also have a role to play, and that's where Naruto comes out way ahead. He has not only fought far more battles, but also faced far more difficulties in his childhood, all of which has made him mentally stronger. So, as of now, any potential fight between father and son will result in the former winning the bout. Sasuke tells Boruto the same thing, but adding that one day, in the future, he'll be able to outshine Naruto in every way.